welcome to my channel. Oh, welcome to my channel. It's time. Thanks to all of your manifestations in my previous video. We got the package. In case you don't know the context, all of these albums were a part of this very large package from IKEA Addy that I shipped and had a lot of issues with. I'm not gonna go too into it. I think I'm gonna like spill all the details in my actual IKEA Addy haul for the rest of the things that were in the package. But long story short, it basically took me almost an entire month to get this package ever since the day I requested it for shipping. Hence the reason why this video is coming out so much later than I anticipated. All of these albums here are well over a month old and the albums I'm planning on opening in my next album haul is actually gonna be quite late too, like a lot of those already released. So sorry about that. But again, please understand a lot of this is out of my control. To give you some context, literally I shipped out my package as soon as the ESPA SM Minis arrived at my Kayati, which was the week of May 22nd. So I'd say it arrived around May 24th, 25th. And I'm gonna post this video, I think like June 23rd. So basically, yeah, <laughs> it has actually been an entire month since I requested packing. So all that time in between was out of my control. I know a lot of you guys were waiting as per usual. But we are finally here. We have Perfume by NCT Doja Jung. We have Udi by Woods. FML, uh, this is, I already obviously unboxed the Kara and the regular version. This is just gonna be the Kino, Weavers, and Deluxe because I ordered those from Korea. We have all the bajillion versions from Espa's My World. And then you can't really see it, it's like on the side right here. We have Ives, Ive, Ive, Triple Ive. <laughs> Um, the special edition because everyone's just released in special versions, I guess. It's just like version mania up in here, but you guys have probably have seen unboxings for every single one of these albums or you guys probably own a lot of these albums, but if you have been waiting for me to open these myself for you guys, thanks for waiting and for your patience. The wait is over, so yeah, let's get into it. No more delays. <laughs> Speaking of delays, actually, funny enough, just as the cherry on top of this very chaotic and I must say over dramatic, like I literally broadcasted this to the world as if like this is like the end of the fucking world. Like this is not World War Four or something or three. I know I can be so dramatic sometimes, but like my frustration, <laughs> I couldn't take it anymore. But just as the cherry on top, this is just, again, so poetic, so comedic. Um, the, the actual delivery of this package was a little delayed because they were supposed to deliver it yesterday between like 11.45 a.m. to like 2.45 p.m. And they even like showed the little like UPS truck tracker thingy saying that it's close. And then they just circled around my house and delivered it around 7 p.m. So <laughs> yeah, they were really just like, oh, nope. Your last. Uh, just, just fun times around here, but okay, I'm trying to like get myself situated. Just needed to tell that little fun quirky story because I just thought that'd be so funny to share <laughs> after all this delay. I'm just gonna go ahead and open an album we've already dealt with in this on this channel, but I got these things again super late because I ordered it from Korea. But this is the remaining versions of FML. We do have obviously the Kino and the Weavers and then the brand new deluxe edition. Cause like, why not? You know, capitalism, baby. That's what this is all about. So, okay, actually I'm gonna open these. These are technically the Weavers period of benefits for the regular albums. I did order like a set off Weavers, but I'm not gonna open it in this video because I'm planning on opening like my extra copies in my Kaddy haul cause this video is gonna be too long already. But I just thought I would share this cause this is FML, so. You can already see I got like literally my top three in the POBs. Hello. Okay, so for the Weaver's period of benefits, what is this? Oh, I'm guessing these are like phone tabs. I've seen these all over, but I've never actually gotten one myself. I'm assuming this is for like, you put on the back of your phone, this hangs out the charger and you loop this. So it's like a little phone strap. That's really cute. It kind of sucks that they only give you one, but yeah, first we got Vernon and Wanu, literally two of my biases, and 
Escops, who is such a bias wrecker of mine. And then also this very cute postcard. Okay, we did see the first photo card already, but we got Dogans, who is my third bias that I collect. Hello. Kind of sad that it's not selfies, but it's chill. Okay, let's see. <gasps> we got Dino looking so dapper. And then, oh my god, Hoshi, another bias wrecker of mine. We got a nice variety. I love that. Let's start with the Kinos because I said so. <laughs> okay, I obviously ordered four Kinos as you can see because, well, at this time I was still collecting DA, but I officially decided to stop collecting him. But I mean, since I have four right here, maybe I could just get his photo card, you know, whether I pull it or trade it. So we shall see but okay we'll do like a very quick unboxing since this is quite late and also i do have a lot of other videos to videos what the fuck albums to open this in these album haul slash unboxings in case you're new i never really like do a formal unboxing because th these videos tend to be an hour over so oh my god why is it so hard to open oh, oh this is why the postcard was like jammed in there Rut row. Good thing I have four copies. You get a little group postcard. I really like this green color that they did. So let's just quickly... How should we do this? Hold on. Should I just like plop it back in the box? <laughs> Sounds like a plan, but we'll quickly flip through these. I guess this is just one concept. They tend to always recycle their concepts throughout like their Weavers and Kino versions, so it's not a surprise. But I guess three concepts is a lot still, you know? Actually four, including the carrot version. And then I guess five, if you include the deluxe, they put the music video concept, which is really cute. But yeah, still, honestly, I feel like I ended up loving Super way more than I initially anticipated. I feel like... Again, like, I think in my unboxing, I said that Fuck My Life was more of my style and it was my favorite out of the two. But Super actually ended up growing to be my favorite title track out of the two. Like, I cannot stop listening to Super. It's just so good. And the performance, like, oh my god, they're actually insane. I can't stop watching, like, their dance practices and stuff. Crazy. Okay, anyways. After all this stress, I just really hope I get blessed with good pulls. Good pulls meaning like my biases so that I can stress a little less by not doing as many trades. So come on, let me have this universe. Okay, let's see. Oh my god. Wait, I don't think I've seen all of the Kino photo cards actually. So these are a shock, but Joshua. I've been very Joshua blessed this comeback actually. I don't now we're just gonna speed through these. Just look at our pulls real quick. Oh! <gasps> What did I say? I spoke that into existence by saying if we pull Ming House, I might just keep it because I have four. Hold on. This is so cute. Okay, I think we might have to keep that then because I didn't like entirely drop my Ming Hao collection. I just, I did the same thing what I did with my Chang'an and Mingyu collection. It's getting too much, so I just keep my favorite cards and I selectively collect from now on, like very very selectively pretty much just when i pull them so you're that's the deal but okay again also hoping for no dupes but again i might have just jinxed that oh my god yes <laughs> oh my god we got murdered and he's holding a cute little mug actually that mug is huge why did i say little but his hair oh my god and that gucci okay last one we need another bias pull Preferably Wanu because he's typically the most difficult member. I struggle with him all the time. So please, sir. Oh my god, we got Dino's! He's making a cute little peace sign. Oh my god, these cards are just two adorbs, two freaking adorbs. Now we have five of the Weavers because I always tend to go crazy with these since it's pretty much just the card. I really regret not joining Carolyn's group order. Like my friend Carolyn, aka Wanhead, she opened a group order for these. I literally was about to join it, but I guess it just slipped my mind. And now I regret it because now dealing with all these collections, it's like, damn, I could have just had, oh my God. I could have just had one collection out of the way, but I forgot to, so sorry, girl. I don't know what was wrong with me. I do appreciate the fact that it's not their old packaging where it's like a sticker, but 
since this is a soft mat, it's kind of hard to open without like, okay, there we go. Like ripping it. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, again, this is pretty much all this is. <laughs> Just instructions and the cards. Oh my God, June. Dude, his hair. Whoa. These are so glossy. Oh my goodness. <gasps> but it's the fight for my life concept. Oh my God. So cute. Love that streaky ponytail vibe. Okay, I think this is the trick to opening it. Just sliding your finger under. There we go. Oh, <laughs> this is not looking good. <laughs> the dupes? Uh-oh. I ordered both of the Kinos and the Weavers from K-Town, and we got all four different cards for the Kino, so let's just hope we get a little more variety up in here. <gasps> oh my god! Dude, I swear to God, every time I, like, drop or downsize a collection for a member, they just come sneaking up on me, so... We got Ming Hao sets. Oh my god. We got Jun Hao, I just realized. Oh, I actually love his curly hair. It's so cute. Bias photo card. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not so hot on the variety here, but okay. We still have one more. It's okay. We still have one more. Oh, oh my god. See? Literally, my Joshua luck is insane. But let's see. Okay, we got Joshua's. Oh my goodness. Again, the curly hair. This card is so cute. Oh my goodness. I love this concept so much. Okay, lastly, we have the big old deluxe edition. I honestly didn't expect it to be this big and heavy. But after seeing it in person, there's a reason why it's this big. <laughs> like, oh my god. Uh this is actually terrifying. Oh, okay, spoiler alert for that. But, oh my. <laughs> this is a thick ass photo book because it combines all three of the concepts. Again, it's just kind of like, I mean, obviously this is a money grab. What do we expect from, you know, these companies? Oh, well that definitely grabbed my attention. <laughs> but it does combine like, I'm assuming these are like never before seen pictures. It better be. If they just recycle the same exact pictures, that would literally be... No. <laughs> but these seem to be different, unless I just have terrible memory and I don't remember what the photo books were before, but these look unfamiliar, so... It would have been cute if they included maybe, like, behind-the-scene pictures, you know? That would have been really cute. Kind of like, I forgot what deluxe edition group did that, but that would have been cute. They should have also included like the carrot version pictures, the wedding ones, but I guess that was like a carrot exclusive version, which I think is cute. Okay, as you saw earlier, we did get our random tag and we got Mingyu's. Oh my God, of course Mingyu is still like one of my top five biases. I mean, at this point, is it even worth having biases in 17? Cause uh, yeah, I love them all, but wow. Wow, wow. They're actually so much smaller than I thought. Like, I don't know if I should trade for Vernon's for my binder, but... Okay, anyways, we do get two sets of cards, which I think is very generous of them. Because this, even though there shouldn't be anything random in these, I do appreciate the fact that it's just, like, the tag that's random. I feel like not as many people care about that as much as photo cards. So thanks for that, I guess. But we get a pack of unit cards for each concept too. I think that's so cute. Oh my god. These are so cute. I can't wait to store these. Okay, and then, oh my god, these ones I was so excited for. Like, oh, we get music video photo cards. Oh my goodness. Wow. I just freaking love, like, Chong. Chongan is like climbing up my bias list again. I mean, he's always in my bias list. I literally used to collect him fully, but I swear I just like fall for a different member each era. It's, it's just not good. But yeah, wow. These are so nice. Imagine if we got like, you know what they should have done for this deluxe edition? They should have done the music video concepts like super and fuck my life. Oh my god, that would have been really cute. Like, hire me, Pletus. But, oh my god, I'm obsessed with this set. I'm so happy we get a full set of that. And then, CD. This is, I'm assuming, lyrics? Yeah. 
And then this is probably, I've seen this. This is a very familiar picture, but cute. Oh my God. Another album I have been dying to open. Don't know why I just said it like that, but we have NCT's new units, NCT Dojejang. Oh my God, this was a smash and a half. I loved, I think everyone loved this, you know, like everyone was constantly praising it. They set the bar up so high and they met that bar plus exceeded it. I even was so excited to open this. I technically bought two copies of this already. I bought an extra photo book and a Doyoung perfume box because I couldn't wait any longer, but we're finally here. Didn't expect to take this long opening this, but okay. Again, a lot of versions, but let's get into it. Okay, so starting with the photo book, again, I technically did open this. I spoiled it for myself. I'm sorry, y'all, but if you had to wait two months, you know, I even posted an Instagram picture about this. That's how excited I was about this, but coincidentally enough, I got this from K-Town for you and they did do a photo card event for the photo book version and I got Doyoung's. I swear my Doyoung luck is just amazing. I'm just a Doyoung magnet. So look at how pretty this card is. And I did pull a Doyoung photo card. I think it's two photo cards per member in this. So maybe we'll pull his other one. Who freaking knows? But we can do a quick flip through. Oh my God. I am so obsessed with everything about this debut. Like, ugh. Just the concept, look at this. Just how like sensual it is, you know? I know that sounds kind of strange, but like, bruh. I feel like this suits them so well. The songs were so good. Again, a very high contender for my personal song. I mean, album of the year. Also song of the year. Perfume, song of the year. I think we can all agree on that, but yeah, I just love the vibe of it. It's like very like designer-esque, which I loved, so yeah suits them super well one more one more flip through i think I, I i deserve this okay like these like it's like staple pieces you know these outfits it's like simple but wowzers just wowzers oh we got a chungu member poster i genuinely forgot who i got for the poster <laughs> For my first copy but it's okay oh yeah you got a unit okay i forgot let's see our cards here's the unit oh my god i think this is a dupe damn it there's different versions of this right i'm pretty sure but this is a dupe regardless and then for our photo card oh a jungle again oh my god damn he's got some old brows See, like, I just love the simplistic vibes. Alrighty, we got these perfume boxes. We're gonna go in Doja Jung order. So, starting with a doe, a deer, a female deer. I just love this packaging. It's very suited for this concept. I mean, I do appreciate the fact that, like, SM does a special version that kind of matches the vibes of these comebacks. I don't know why they had to make these like member versions, you know? What is up with SM and these member versions? They do like multiple member versions, which is very annoying. Even if it's three members, like calm down. Okay, this is his little scent card. I did already like again, smell it, smelled it. I forgot what it smelled like, but I don't want to open another one. So I'm just going to leave it in there. I think I remember liking it though. These like postcards, ooh. And the fact that they actually released like perfume with the perfume. <gasps> okay, oh my God, yes. I don't think I pulled this card yet. <gasps> Wait, okay, yes, spoiler, but oh my God, we got this Doyoung card. Yeah, they did drop the perfume merch and I, did, I didn't buy the individual perfume bottles, like the member ones. I, I bought the big, like, you know, the, the album cover, the big black bottle. Like, I'm so excited to get that. Oh my god. I'm excited to see what it smells like too, but I think I'm mainly going to use it for like display purposes. I don't think I can ever, you know, actually use the perfume as a perfume. Like, it's too, it's too precious. I paid like almost a, actually I'm not even going to say it, but I paid a lot of money for it. So again, flawless album. I feel like my favorite two songs though are Strawberry Sunday and um, Hu Yu Chung, or Can We Go Back? I mean, apparently they're a fixed unit according to them. So uh, if we get a comeback, very much we'll be anticipating it. Okay, there's that. And then little flip through. Again, I, I guess I do appreciate also that they did multiple concepts, you know, like this is different from the photo book. 
they each have their own like color too. His is like blue. Wow. Okay. Very Calvin Klein Chanel Abercrombie-esque. His is brown, which lovely. Oh, <laughs> I remember all over Twitter, people were saying how either, I forgot it was Chaehyun or Jungwoo. I guess I'll find out, but one of the scents was a little funks, so I guess I'll be the judge of that. Okay, his is just an exclamation. Oh, wait. This smells nice. Okay, I'm guessing it's Chongo's then. <laughs> Again, I'll be the judge of that, but... Oh my god. These smell really nice. I would have loved to buy all the perfumes, obviously, the individual ones, but they're so expensive. Especially since I have to technically buy them from SM Global Shop because he can't ship perfumes internationally, so I couldn't buy them in, like from Korea. <gasps> Whoa, we got our first... I think this is my... Yeah, this is my first Chaehyung card. Each member thing, it, I think it's specific to them, except for the SM Mini, so... We'll get some Tojajong sets, which I appreciate. We have that, and then... His photo book. Oh my goodness. They're all just very foin. They're very foin. Wow. Each of their outfits, again, it's like very simple, but... They just rock it. They look so good. Can't help but compliment them, of course. Chungwoo's. Ooh, that's intriguing. <laughs> okay, Mood Street. We'll see if this is actually funks as people described it. Oh. Wait, this isn't even that bad. Oh yeah, in case you're curious, this has like the little emblem, which is really cute. It, it suits this vibe well. It's like a musky citrus. Wait, I kind of vibe with it. I can see why people don't like it, you know? Initially, I was like, oh but I, I enjoyed it. So, or maybe it was the group one that people thought it was funky. <laughs> but yeah, I liked the scents. I liked all of the scents. <gasps> oh my God, this might be the cutest. I forgot what the other cards look like, but this, this is probably the cutest one. Like this flower one, <sighs> so cute. Okay, so orange. Oh, oh my God, this slime, what? Hey, interesting. Oh my god, I think I liked this. Oh yeah, this like orange like plastic sofa. It's so bright. I feel like it suits him very well. He's like a very vitamin... What letter is it? C? D? Ooh. I loved that. That was so cute. Digipack time! Again, like these member versions. Goddamn, but it's very... Oh my god. It's so beautiful. I feel like SM is transitioning once again, you know? Because um, for NCT Dream's comeback... Oh, this is the same picture as the cover. They're actually... I don't think they're doing SM minis anymore. They're doing... They released, like, member versions of this, like, QR Smart version. So I'm assuming that's replacing the SM minis, which I feel... I'm kind of sad about because I actually did enjoy the SM minis, but... I, unless they release an, an SM mini version later, like they did with, like, Espa and stuff, if they do, it better just be, like, one version. If it's the member version again. I will jump off a bridge with no parachute. But they also are replacing the digipacks with... Oh! <laughs> they're replacing the digipacks with the poster versions because they did it for Espa and now they're doing it for NCT Dream. So I'm assuming that's going to be their new like member square thing. <laughs> Which honestly kind of sucks, not even going to lie, because the poster version is literally just a poster. It's a folded poster and they're charging the same price for it, I'm pretty sure. So, uh... What the hell, man? At least make it, like, $2. That's how much a poster is worth, isn't it? Okay, anyways, we got... <gasps> Wait, I forgot which specific Doyon cards I wanted to pull, but this one probably might have been one of it. Like, okay, little confession, I am a... I do go weak in the knees for tank tops, so... <laughs> Did not need to say that out loud. <laughs> okay, Jagyeon, anyways. <gasps> I love that, like, jacket that he's wearing. Whoa. This is the cover, basically. Oh! Oh wait, this one's actually different. I like how they also put a picture on the inside. I feel like most of the time they leave it blank. <gasps> oh my god, this one's so cute. He's outside in the nature, basking in the sunlight. Yes, king. Ooh. These are just like music video shots, which again, it's my favorite kind of like photo book. 
All right, now we have Changu. This is a scene where he was wearing the headphones, which was really cute. The old school headphones. Aww. It's kind of like the boy next door vibes. All right, and then... Oh my god, another flower photo card! He just loves taking pics of flowers, I see. Not complaining. Ooh. Oh my god, this part of the music video when they like did that slow zoom on him. Glorious. Okay, last but not least, we have the SM Minis or Sminis, whatever you want to call them. This is completely random though, the photo card, so I'm really hoping we pull at least two different ones, but we'll see. Starting with Toyang's. Again, I love like the member color corresponding moments. It's really cute. I think the inside's just the logo, right? Yeah. It's just like the colored logo. I don't think I'll like take it off for all of them since it's like the same. You get the you get the gist of it. Okay. Oh my god, we actually pulled Toyangs in his! Yay! Again, it's like a different outfit too, which I love. It's like a sweater vest vibe. That's so cute. Please let us get Chaehyun for the Chaehyun version. Or at least Changwoo too, you know, just a different one. I'm gonna miss these like SM mini things. I feel like they're gonna replace it with the QR one, maybe because it's more eco-friendly, but again, like, SM and eco-friendly, that's funny. That's hilarious. Oh no. <laughs> I see it peeking through. Watch out! It's a doya. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. We don't... We're not gonna cry as much for over dupe cards, you know? Chungus. I'm actually surprised mine came, like, the way it's supposed to, because I heard... I saw, like, a lot of people's... Chungu version like they put the wrong flap over it's so, like the picture of him was the cover I mean it wouldn't have really mattered I could just fix it but I thought I thought that was funny oh <gasps> okay okay we got Cheyans yay these like matching sets though so cute yay I will get Chungu's don't worry I totally forgot that I had this but this is Ives I've I've special edition because again everyone just loves doing special deluxe whatever version afterwards so this album is huge though the fact that it's like this long but apparently this has like different photos at least I think like it has music video shots and stuff so I'm excited to open this again the very simplistic which I'm gonna call it minimalist luxurious vibes I think I took everything out it was kind of disappointing I think it's just one photo card and like two sticker sheets these companies really skimp out sometimes but oh yeah someone told me they were gonna include like kitsch shots why is this half blank such they could have at least made this double-sided damn what is up with this like whatchamacallit the lack of things y'all are gonna release the special edition charge like 30 bucks for it and only give us half of the photos what is this but yeah, again, blaming the company for their, their interesting decisions, never the girls. Unless they somehow had to do something with it, then, uh, awkward. Okay. Yeah, we're getting a lot of, like, ooh, whoa. I see a little ribbon peeking out. This photo book is really long, so I don't think it's a photo book and I can, like, flip through like that. So I'm just gonna go like this to appreciate each pick, I guess. But damn, like, all of these... All of the left side is blank. I feel like that's a little disappointing. Except for some like logos here and there. Okay, some more kitsch picks. Oh, okay, you know what? I'm getting kind of tired flipping. <laughs> oh wait, we could go we totally could have gone like this. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Oh, it's like their individual shots now. Ooh. Alrighty. Again, kind of sad that only half of the pages have the pictures. Maybe they could have done like half kitsch, half I am. Again, these companies need to hire me. Anyways, we got these like really cute post, I'm not postcards, <laughs> stickers. They kind of give me like postcard vibes since they're huge. But these are really nice pigs. It's kind of like a film strip too. Wow. All right, and then our singular photo card. <gasps> Ooh, we got 
Liz. Oh my goodness. These double-sided photo cards. Double-sided photo cards are so cute. Very creative. All right, an album I have literally been dying to open. Another album, I guess, I've been dying to open. What's his comeback? <sighs> this is his first comeback ever since he moved companies and also basically my first Woods comeback because I started like standing him during his last era, Colorful Trauma. Oh my God, have I been dying to open these albums? And oh my God, this album, of course, did not disappoint. Like, I don't expect any less from Woods himself. So, ah, we have it here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have the two like normal album versions and then we have the Digipack. We have two of each because I, he has a lot of photo cards kind of still, not as many as like before, but still kind of a lot. And I just thought, you know, might as well get a set of each because K-Town for you had a lot of like, different POBs and stuff, and that's where I bought mine from, so here we are. We can go through the POBs. So he did have an offline event and an online event, and there were six cards per version, per event, I mean, and obviously I wasn't going to get 12 copies. <laughs> that's kind of a lot, so I just bought two of each, like a set from the offline and, and a set from the online, so we'll see. The cards are very cute, though, like starting off with this one, this kind of reminds me of that one character from Scooby-Doo, Velma? I don't know. It's so cute. <gasps> Ooh, we have this outfit. Oh wait, let me show the backs too. Oh, it's pretty plain and simple. What? Oh my- I'm so stupid. I forgot it doesn't come with the, the jewel case version. I was about to say, where's my six cards? Idiot. Anyways. <gasps> oh, they're like the same uh, version. Oh my god! I feel like he just takes one, some of the best selfies ever. His photo cards are so superior. Okay, let's let's look through these. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited! So this is like the bigger. Um, oh, it says right here, free version. Wow, this cover is so nice though. This this is like the album cover with this like blonde wig. Oh, the blonde wig. I'm like actually kind of obsessed with it. Oh my god, wait, there's actually a lot of inclusions. Oh damn. Oh my god, even the CD. <gasps> What? Oh my god. Insane. The people who aren't interested in Woods are probably have already skipped at this point, probably, but if you're still watching and you don't really know much about Woods, this is your sign. Like I was sleeping on him this whole time and I regretted that. So this is your chance to go check him out, not just this album. Oh, there's another reason. Oh my god, I'm just obsessed with him and his music. Like, oh my god. These teaser, oh my god, seeing these pictures up close and personal in this big ass magazine sort of photo book. Oh my god. <sighs> I've been dying to open these. I can't believe I'm finally opening it now. But besides the aesthetics, oh my god, the music, drowning, bitch. I literally am drowning because of how good this song is. Holy shit, might be one of my top wood songs actually. Oh my god. But yeah, Journey. Even though Journey is a slower song, which I feel like a lot of people don't love necessarily, but this is the song is just so oh my god, how many inclusions are in this? Damn. Like it's just so calming and poetic and also vibey. It kind of gives me like <laughs> this is not in this aspect, but like it reminds me of like a Disney Channel original movie song. Not like Disney Channel, like childish, like Disney Channel, like, okay, I'm gonna set the scene here. Like, imagine you're about, you're like that shy kid, the new kid in school who's just like shy because, you know, you're in a new school and you're a performer at heart, but you can't show that. All the kids are doubting you. All the kids are just staring at you. You know, the typical Disney Channel, like, oh, it's the new kid. But deep down, you have that like rocker spirit in you. You find your group of friends who are gonna be your best friends forever. They just coincidentally are in a band, but also that band is down in the dumps too. Everyone thinks they're losers, they're geeks, they're untalented, cause you're all shy. I'm basically just talking about lemonade now. <laughs> <laughs> but hold on. You're about to go on your first performance. All the people are doubting. I'm basically just explaining Lemonade Mouth. This song just like builds up slowly, you know, strumming the guitar. And then once you find your groove, that's when the chorus hits, the drums hit. Like once you start blaring your that chorus out, everyone's just like, wait a minute. Like, where has this hidden ace card been? Like, holy shit, they're amazing. The emotions, like, 
everyone just sings along at the end. That's the vibe I get from Journey. So yeah, this could have been in the Lemonade Mouth soundtrack, just saying. If they're making a sequel, Woods, I just got you hired, you're welcome. I just pitched them the idea. Anyways, moving right along, we get this, Oh, it's this, the red jacket with the invisible shirt. Oh, we got another poster, hold on. Ooh, it's a different outfit, nice. Okay, we get a plethora of inclusions. I didn't even realize, oh my God, three photo cards, yum. And three bookmarks. Oh, it's one for each look. Wait, these are so nice. Oh my goodness, so generous. I mean, some other companies from these other groups I opened, take notes. We got this really cool postcard, lenticular one, and then three photo cards. Damn, I did see two of them though. I think this one is the pre-order hollow one, I'm pretty sure. We'll see. <gasps> wait, wait a minute, for free? Like this? Oh, he just has this invisible shirt on. <laughs> Damn, okay, it's like up close and personal. It's like Willy Wonka with these chocolate bars. <gasps> oh my god, this one. Wait, this seems very familiar. I forgot where this was from, but I'm pretty sure I saw a video. I think it's from the, the what was it? Um, oh, Abyss music video, right? I don't know. Very cute. I love his hair. And then, oh yeah, this is the one I saw. <gasps> the hollow. Oh my god, I love the cloudy background. Wow, wow, wow. Three photo cards. Let's freaking get it. I mean, while we're at it, we can just open our extra copy. Hopefully it's not a dupe, but we'll see. Anything's possible. Oh, okay. So maybe, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is probably the same, these bookmarks. Whoa, this is so cool. I love like how he's blue, kind of giving Smurf, kind of giving Megamind. Oh. Wait. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Huh? <laughs> Wait, I'm literally dying. How does this happen? Not what? <laughs> the fact that I pulled this card in the first album and they're like, oh, you love this? You like this card? Here's four more. What? It's not even just two cards. It's three of them were just stuck. I don't even know what to say. Oh my god, we literally just got four of this card. I'm dying. Oh my god, wait, this literally means I can do some more trades. Hold up. Wait, the universe was looking out for me. <laughs> Damn, and it's the abs photo card too. I know these bitches would be thirsting over this card. Bitches being me. Okay, we also got a dupe of this. That means the third one is probably a dupe. I mean, the posters were different though. Oh, wait, <gasps> the CD. It's different too, as a picture. Oh yeah, here's our third one. <gasps> I've seen this. This is the one where he's wearing a mask. Oh my God, with the glasses combo. It's like very casual, like going out-esque. This one is the control version. I mean, I did mention earlier that like my pulls better be good because the amount of stress that went into this package, like this was my, that was my reward. <laughs> that definitely was my reward. Okay, this box is like hella beat up, but this one's pretty nice. So, okay, at least we have one copy that's, normal and intact oh whoa what the oh this is not a photo book it's postcards as udi means we or like us oh the photo cards are in here hold on again oh oh my god don't tell me it happened again <laughs> okay wow again it's like different concepts i love his tattoos like the the years on his el i mean not elbows what is it biceps and his like gun tattoo oh my god Oh my god. <laughs> this man's is just too fine and he knows it. And the fact that he's been on tour, like, he's been torn all over, except for North America, yet yeah, I really hope we get those North American dates. We, I'm getting the international fan treatment. <laughs> like, everyone's coming to LA, so he's just like, you know what, LA, you're last. It better still be on the schedule, though, because I literally bought a Woods light stick. It's in this k package, so... I am prepared for if he ever announces a North American tour. Bitch, if it's not even in Los Angeles, if it's in like NorCal or something, I will drive up there. Actually, I'm not sure because NorCal is kind of scary, but okay. Oh, there's even pictures on the back. What? Oh my God. Oh my God, his witties. These are so nice. 
Wow, he's so generous with these inclusions. Like all of these postcards. Y'all, it is worth it. Ooh. Oh my God, wait, I think the dupe photo card thing happened again. I just pulled out another card. Ooh, looking fine as always. Oh, dude, all these like posters and stuff, I can make like wallpaper out of this. I love how the CDs have like a picture on it of him. Oh my God, <laughs> there's no way it happened. Oh, okay, it says journey. <laughs> From the back, this looks a little questionable. <laughs> Journey. <gasps> these stickers are so cute. I want to like put these on the back of my phone. Photo car time. <gasps> it's from the Abyss music video. Oh my God. So cute. Oh my. It happened. Okay, what is going on at, at the production site of these albums? Oh my, I mean, not complaining. All these extra photo cards. Hells yeah. Oh my goodness. This is the hollow one. Oh my god, dying. Oh, this is like the same concept, but so cute. All his photo cards, man. Alrighty, we have our extra copy. Ooh. Oh my goodness, it's... Oh no! They're exact dupes and no cards are stuck together, right? There's no extra cards floating in here. Oh, these are different stickers though. Okay. Ooh. Okay, we got some dupes and some varieties. Okay, last but not least, we have the, I, I keep saying Digipack, <laughs> uh, jewel case. I didn't expect it to be this like bright yellow, but I love it though. <gasps> See, like everywhere you look, it's him. I love it. Oh damn, this might be the thickest jewel case booklet I've ever felt. Oh, <gasps> oh my God. Okay, we got this card of him wearing this like holy hoodie. We'll call it that. And this is the hollow one. It's another one in this outfit, but look at those rings though. Oh my God. And we get these cute as mini posters. Hold on. Oh my God. I love the contrast of the concepts. Like this is just so bright. Oh my God. And they're so tiny. And then we can flip through. Whoops. It's just this photo shoot, but. I love the contrast of the green and the blue and the yellow. Wow. I mean, I just feel like at this point we're probably gonna get dupes, but let's let's pray for the best. At least one different card. That's all I'm asking. Oh. <laughs> wow, it is just dupe mania up in here. Like dupe mania in both ways. What is this, SM? Just what 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 is this? So we finally are concluding this video with My World by Espa, very highly anticipated comeback. And yeah, they <laughs> clearly went all out with this comeback. We have the tabloid version, member versions for the poster, member versions for the intro. We have the two zine versions. And then we have, last but not least, member versions for the SM Mini three member version things this should honestly be illegal like the lawmakers in south korea get on it <laughs> come on hantio circle charts anyone can you guys be like billboard and make some changes up in this god damn i this is the reason why this was so delayed i usually would make like a s give espa their own unboxing because i love espa but um i wanted to buy all the versions i decided to do that to myself so I wanted to buy it all from Korea because obviously it was way cheaper that way. So you get the idea. Yeah, here they all are. This actually isn't even technically everything that I'm going to get for my world because they're releasing US exclusive covers and photo cards, which I guess I'll talk about later. But we can start off with these pre-order benefits that I got from K-Town for you. They did it for the intro version, luckily. So since I got all four, I got all four. So we have Ning Ning's, Giselle's. Winter and Karina. This might be my favorite Karina POV, honestly, so I'm glad that I got this one. Okay, where should we even begin? I think I'm gonna do the these two photo book versions first because I don't feel like zooming all the way out for the big old tabloid version, which we're gonna deal with <laughs> later. 
Okay, I guess we can start with the intro version. So apparently these are all the same photo books. So we don't even have to go through all of these photo books. But anyways, we'll go through Karina's, I guess her cover technically, since that's the only <laughs> different thing. That's the thing that sucks. Like if you're going to make four different versions, like at least give us like member specific photo books, you know? I mean, I guess it works both ways because there's some people out there who aren't psycho like me and don't only get one version. So, you know, you get the same like photo book, but... I don't know, whatever. I just think, I just feel like if you're gonna go through the efforts of making these member versions, like give us some variety here. But anyways, we have this photo shoot, the like outdoor beachy one. They did a lot of different photo shoots for my world. But yeah, I mean, deserve because it's been, oh my God, I can't believe Girls was their last comeback. Literally, that's when I like, around the time I saw them in LA when they did their showcase tour. But yeah, it felt like such a long time ago. But I'm so glad we finally got an Espa comeback. And I mean, I'm sure you guys know from my social media, but I absolutely ate this comeback up. Like they devoured. Wait, this is so pretty. Oh my goodness. <gasps> it's like a collage underneath. Oh my God. And here's like a little, oh, okay. I appreciate this effort, you know? Okay, ooh, they're also giving us this collage vibe on the CD. Ooh, does it say spicy or my world? Oh yeah, it does. This balloon confuses me. Here's that. Oh my God, this thing only comes with one card? Damn, okay. Let's see who we got. Oh, we got Karina's, yes, 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 yes. Oh, the back is so pretty too. I mean, I think for the the albums that have like member version things, so like three of them, I'm gonna collect OT4 since I bought four albums. But yay, we started off with Karina's in her version too. Okay, I'll try to go in member order. So next up is Giselle's. Oh wait, actually, no, I totally, yeah. The photo books are the same, right? Yeah, okay, damn, we just look at the- <gasps> Ooh, okay, we got Winters! Oh my God, yay. Yeah. This is from the, whatchamacallit, the I'm Unhappy music video. Oh yeah, and then this, I guess the inside is different so we can look through that. Whoa, she's glistening. This looks so pretty though, this concept. Um, next up we have Winter. Hers is like the opposite of Giselle's, it's like so up close. Okay. Oh my god, we got Ning Nings. Oh my god, yay! Oh my god, this card is so pretty. Oh, this is from, isn't this from Salty and Sweet, I think? Oh my god, I love these different, like, music video themed photo cards. Okay, and then her poster. Ooh. Or I guess inner cover. You could make it a poster, too. Okay, last but not least, we have Ning Nings. Hopefully we get Giselle's to complete the OT4. But we'll see. Okay, yeah. It's a dupe, but it's okay. It's still really pretty. And... Ning Ning's inner cover. Ta-da. That's kind of sad. That's the only thing I can show for it. <laughs> Cause that's literally like we only the only inclusion is literally the photo card. That's kind of sad actually. Okay, now we have the two zine versions. We have Welcome to My World and Spicy, the two title tracks. Or I guess this is a pre-release, but whatever. Okay, we'll go through the Welcome to My World. I love this cover, by the way. This was like the digital cover for it it's really cute oh so yeah this is really like a zine version like a mini magazine just cute it's very thin too but i guess that fits the magazine vibe oh this is like the what what you call it i'll call this the airbnb <laughs> concept well they're outside now this is the staycation concept you know they're in an airbnb and they're just walking around town oh my god like, the one reason why I love this comeback, obviously, is because of the music! Like, this is probably... I, I feel like I it's safe to say this is my favorite mini-album from Espa. I know Savage was such a strong contender, and we're gonna forget Girls Happened, but... Oh my god, like, I literally treat Thirsty and Salty and Sweet as, like, title tracks, because they're just so title track worthy. Like, not even just saying that because they're, like, some of my favorite tracks. I know... Just because the song is your favorite doesn't mean it's like title track material, but they actually are title track material. Like they could literally come back with those songs and like I would eat it up. So yeah, I loved this mini album so, so much. 
Um, besides, like, obviously, my so my favorite song is Thirsty. I don't know if I've said this on the channel before, but, like, even before Thirsty was officially released, I was counting down the, day the days because they performed it. Well, first they teased it on, like, Instagram Live. I fell in love with it right on the spot. And then they performed it at their fan meeting, and then they finally released it, so I'm so happy. Kind of sad that they, like, didn't release their full album yet because they performed so many, like, unreleased songs just for them to only release six, but you know what? Not complaining because at least I got, th I got my thirsty, so I'm kind of okay, but yeah, like, Salty and Sweet, so good. I'm unhappy. Spicy, the title track. It's, like, so, like, fun and perfect for the summertime. Like, just wanted to say that. I needed to show my appreciation for this because the music is just too good. Oh yeah, we get this. <gasps> okay, this is something cool. So we get this like Polaroid set. Wait, is this like, okay, spoiler, but <gasps> wait, is this, this, okay, on, wait, I put Espa in A5 binder. So I think this might fit the Amifa pages, but that scared me for a second. But we got Giselle's, Ning Ning's, Winter, and Karina. And I think we get this, like, spicy version, too, in the spicy version. Okay, you saw the photo card, but... <gasps> Ning Nings! Oh my goodness! I like how they each have their own color. Like, this one's yellow, you know, like the CD. Yellow and purple. All right, now we have the spicy zine version. This is definitely the most popular version, I'd say, because everyone loves the magazine concept. And I love it, too. It's like those, like, tabloids you see at, like, Rite Aid or CVS. <laughs> I love the concept of it. Oh my god, they really went all out. I'm also glad that they made this the SM Mini concept because the SM Mini is so cute. We also get like music video shots. Just like the fact that this is just like random streets in like LA slash Riverside. <laughs> they filmed at like a random college and high school. That is so funny to me. I'm pretty sure it's like literally in my area too. Like they really just spoiled their entire song out in public like that. These looks, oh my god, I'm obsessed with Karina's look in this part, her killer part at the end of Spicy. Absolutely obsessed. These are so pretty. Again, just perfect for the summer. So summery, so pretty. And the wigs too. <laughs> oh my god. So pretty. Oh, a strange phenomenon everywhere. The hot pink car, so cute too. I like how, I remember when the someone like posted a video of it before, a lot of people thought they were gonna be in the Barbie soundtrack because it was pink, like, y'all, let's not jump to conclusions. Okay, <gasps> this is so cute. They even like, awesome collector's edition. <gasps> Ooh, it's like little trading cards. Oh my God, the back? Wow, these are so cute. I can see why a lot of people would want this one. I love it. Oh, I see the photo card, but we got Winters. Ooh. Oh my God. Her like snowman signature because she's Winter. Ha ha. So pretty. Okay, honestly, I kind of want to do the tab tabloid version last because I, I don't want to like zoom out and then zoom back in. But we have the poster versions, which is, I guess, SM's alternate to the Digipacks. I guess they're gonna do this from now on, so this should be interesting. But anyways, this is Karina's, I think Mama by AXO, their debut. I think theirs was like a poster. Same with like 17 Carat by 17. Just like a folded poster, literally. <laughs> okay, well, let's go through this first, actually. Postcards. So it's like member correspondent. I'm obsessed with this picture. Those sunglasses. I remember when the My World teasers first came out, like it was like this concept and I was like doubting it a little, not gonna lie, because it kind of gave me like AO vibes. I was like that with AO, remember? I was like, okay, the concept looks so like tame, I guess. But then it grew on me. I was like, okay, I appreciate it. So this is literally what it is. It's this poster with the lyrics. I do like the collage vibes though. I think it's cool. And it's cool that they in incorporated the photo as like the cover. But again, since this is literally just like a folded poster, they should like charge way less for this in my opinion because it's it's just a poster. It's literally an inclusion, you know? This is what usually goes in an album. But they charge the same price for it as like a digipack. I don't know. That's just my personal opinion, but it's not SM unless they're milking money out of the fans, right? Oh, we get so many stickers. Oh, wait, isn't this our... This might be our first Giselle card, I think, but... Oh, we got Giselle's. I love the green on the back. 
I love the highlights, the blue and the blonde. So pretty. Oh yeah, our goal is OT4 with this one too, because this is a OT4 set. These are the stickers. These are so cute too. I want to stick these on the back of my phone. I think you just have to like tuck everything in basically like this. That's, there we go. That's the vibe. And then just stick this back in here. <laughs> They're also like doing a lot of different versions with this, like US versions. They're doing three photo book covers for um, Barnes and Noble. Tar no, Target is the zine version. Barnes and Noble and the Walmart. I think those two are the intro packaging with group covers. And then they also have an Amazon exclusive poster with the group cover. It's also interesting how it's going to be the poster version that's an exclusive, you know, because it's just the poster. But yeah, I guess that's their new marketing tech technique because they're doing it with NCT too. Like NCT has like Target, Walmart, um, Barnes and Noble exclusives, I think, and maybe an Amazon one. And there's going to be like a group exclusive cover for the poster one. That should be interesting. <laughs> okay. Oh, so everything's like, see, like everything's so like messy in here. There's one sticker. Oh my god, wait, blonde? What? Why did she have blonde hair? This is the other side. Oh, it's just like a streak of blonde. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, yes, we got, oh my god, yay, we got Karina's. This is from Salty and Sweet. <gasps> Again, I love the variety of like, oh, Giselle's from, okay, yeah, this is from Salty and Sweet too. <gasps> yay, I love the different like sets. Her with the, oh my god, wait. I didn't even get to talk about her blonde hair. Oh, here's the rest of the CD. I mean, stickers. <laughs> Y'all, it has been an hour and a half. This is the this is the, this is the point in my video where I like can't make proper sentences and formulate my thoughts correctly. So if I start to mumble jumble and whatever, ignore that. Just bear with me here. Oh my god, wait! I just realized my AC is blowing right now, and it might be really loud. So sorry if you hear it. <laughs> That's the same. And then we can just look at her poster. Ooh. I'm like showing it slanted, so sorry about that. But again, y'all have probably seen this by now, so yeah. You want to just hear from me, right? Right? Oh my god, I just saw my photo card, but we have these postcards. It's so crazy how like LA core is like a concept now for like these groups. So many groups have done like shots in like the streets of LA. Oh no! Okay, so we got Ning Nings, but look at that! What the hell is that? This isn't even the first time I've encountered a damaged Espa card. Like, if you guys remember that Karina I pulled during Savage, that was bad, but this is just like a little... It looks like something got like caught in here while they were like laminating it. But we still got Ning Nings, gorgeous. This looks like from the, whatchamacallit, the spicy music video, I think, but... Okay, we got three out of four. Lastly, Ning Nings. These are actually like a lot more complicated to un unbox than I anticipated. Like it takes time to like tuck everything back in and like fold it and whatever. Ta-da, here's Ning Nings poster. Ooh. But yeah, I think it's really cool how they like make this like big picture of them and this is just like the cover. That's cool. Here are the postcards. Ooh. Oh my god, please don't tell me they just grab some random cards. <laughs> that better be a prop. <laughs> Otherwise, they better have disinfected the hell out of that cards. <laughs> Last photo card. We're hoping for winter. <gasps> oh my god! We just pulled an OT4 set! No way! Oh my goodness! <gasps> oh wow, yay! I saw the snowman and I was like, I knew. <gasps> Look at how gorgeous this card is. Oh my goodness, she's so pretty. Wait, yeah, isn't this from Spicy and these three are from Salty and Sweet? Maybe this is from Salty and Sweet, I don't know. These are probably the same stickers. Like, these look all look very familiar. <laughs> yeah, oh, they even gave us two of the same ones. Actually, we still have the tabloid, but we're gonna... This is the last member version thing. <laughs> God damn. Okay, so these are the SM Minis. Again, I, this might be my favorite SM Mini, like, packaging or, like, graphic designing like it's so cute and the actual sm mini too i'm obsessed this might be the last sm mini we open on this channel so this is the actual sm mini oh my god even the back i feel like that's gonna be the same for everyone's but it's so cute the whole like magazine theme first card oh 
Winter! Ooh. Okay, yeah, this is from the spicy music video. The way I just instantly recognize it. <laughs> yeah, so we got winter. God, I really want to like keep these stickers in like prestige condition. Is that the word prestige? Prestige? Whatever. It's so hard like ripping it. Uh, uh. That was, that's salvageable. Okay, and then let's see. Wait, it's different. Oh, <gasps> yay! We got Ning Nings. Ooh, again from the spicy music video. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Now Winters. That's all I can show basically since it's the same. Karina or Giselle. <gasps> yes! Okay, we got Giselle's. Oh my god, the blue wig. Tell me what you see when you look at me. Because I am a 10 on a 10 on a sleigh. On a sleigh. Lastly, Ning Nings. Please, Karina, come through. Completes our second OT4 set of the day. You want to show up so badly. You want to complete the set so badly. Ah, oh, dang it, we were so close. Wait, our pulls were actually pretty good though. Like considering the fact that, like, wait, cause like we did OT4 and then we got three out of four for the other two. That's actually pretty good. I feel like, I mean, it is four members, but still that's kind of wild, so. You know what? I can't complain too much. I thought I would never have to deal with this sort of packaging again after the monstrosity that was the La Seraphim Unforgiven Weavers version. But here we are. This is the last album we're gonna open in this video. This is Espa's tabloid version. I get that it's called a tabloid version, you know? Tabloid like, you know, like mag um, newspaper or whatever. But did they have to make it this big? <laughs> just like, why? You know, as if they haven't made enough versions. They just have to slap us literally with this. How am I going to store this and Unforgiven? <laughs> we have to salvage this plastic again. Uh, I feel like this is kind of scary for like the photo cards and stuff. Like, I feel like it could be so easily bent. Oh, God. Oh my God, this isn't even zoomed out all the way. I'm literally standing up, so... <laughs> okay. Ooh. So it's just like, again, oh, it's kind of like, you know, like the posters, you know, it's kind of like, what was it? Map of the Soul 7, kind of like a poster photo book. Oh my God. If you guys hear that over there, I have like stuff hanging on my pegboard and it's just like hitting it. So ignore that. But yeah, this era was definitely one for the books. When the first teasers came out again, I was a little iffy about it, but they redeemed themselves and... The music is just too, too good. Loved it. Love spicy, love thirsty. Thirsty is just my song of the year, I'd say. Like, it's crazy how I streamed it so much, like, unofficially <laughs> from the concert videos, but still listening to it after it's officially released. It's just too good. It's too good. I really wish we got a full music video for it, but I'm glad that they did the track videos too. Like, again, they gave them the budget this time, so I appreciate it. And they're... They're free from Kwangya, you know? Let's celebrate that. Oh my god, my the page is just hitting everything in its way. Okay, ooh, it's so green. I feel like this era was definitely Giselle's era, honestly. Like, her voice just suited all the songs so well, and I feel like her verses were definitely some of the most memorable, so... Props to you, Giselle. Again, kind of disappointing with the inclusions. They really skimped on it. It's literally just the photo card. But okay, this is the CD. Oh, to end it off, we have Ning Nings. Her with the sunglasses. Oh my goodness. Such a cute card. Love the vibes. So sassy. Okay, with that, that is the epic conclusion of this epic film that I pretty much filmed right now. <laughs> oh goodness. Let me try and clean all this up. Okay, as per usual, this is the end result photo card spread. <laughs> Another plethora of cards to put away. I definitely need to obviously do some trading. I really am trying to get back on my trading game again since I haven't traded or sold anything for so long. And my summer is still pretty packed, so yeah, but I need to do some trades and then I need to do like my photo card binder organizing video, another storing photo card video before my mid-year photo card update. Just so much to do, plus second channel stuff. 
and yeah my plate is pretty full but hopefully you guys are staying tuned in look out for those and hopefully i don't burn myself out but anyways thanks so much for watching and thanks again to all of y'all who waited for this so it happened it's here and now we have to wait another month basically i think my next album haul slash unboxing i'm gonna wait for like july releases to happen because there are a lot of july comebacks happening actually my god so yeah anyways um stay tuned for that whenever that's gonna come out um if you enjoyed this video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe down below for more videos like this here are some of my recommended jammy jam jams my eight jammies check these out if you care and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye